Now to an outdoor classroom where students can dig right into their lessons. And the best part, it's right here in the upstate. It's pretty cool. The community rallied together to build this beautiful interactive garden and learning space for students there at Monarch Elementary. And it's a story we've been following since this all started. Our Christy Waite got to check out that finished product. Down came the rain and watched the spider out. Welcome to Monarch Elementary's brand new interactive learning garden. H I J K L M N O P. It's a huge accomplishment for Principal Mark Loach, his students, <laughs> and staff. We are one of 24 schools in the nation who, to receive that grant. It's a huge honor that we were chosen for this grant, and it's it's such. Uh, a compliment to the things that we're already doing here at Monarch. It started off as a project last year with our fifth grade. They wanted to renovate and revitalize our garden space. It was covered with weeds. It was covered with old plants. Teacher Brittany Willis says this is an assignment everyone was willing to do. This has been a project that not only PTA wanted, but the teachers and students were wanting. Students are learning about organic farming. Learning just doesn't happen in the classroom. It happens in a garden, it happens in your backyard, it happens everywhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's go, baby! Yeah. Yeah. Go. Environmental conservation. Wow. Oh, ew. But guess what it's going to do? Greenville County Schools is going to help us learn crop rotation, the importance of what different crops need to be in our garden and responsibility. We're going to be able to see them from little sprouts and they're going to see them grow all the way to the plate. So not food, uh, not farm to table, but school to table. Creating a unique learning area for everyone. It's just going to be a wonderful place to learn and to grow. Christy Waite, Fox Carolina News. That's so